Hi everybody, it's me, Sky. And for all of you guys that don't know, this is my second channel and this is a beauty channel. A straight beauty channel. My first channel is a nail art channel which has just straight nail art stuff and it has tutorials, unboxings, and it has um, nail art hauls, nail um, mail, and stuff like that. And this second channel is going to be more beauty related and beauty focused. It's going to have um, get ready with me's. It's going to have um, nail, I mean beauty hauls. And it's going to focus on more makeup. And then it's going to also have um, um, beauty tutorials. And it's going to have um, lots and lots of beauty, beauty hauls because I love to shop. And I have an online addiction. The first step is to admit it, and the second step is ignoring it. <laughs> and um, it's also going to have possibly outfits of the week, and I'm going to have a lot of unboxings because I have a lot of subscriptions that's beauty related that probably fit this channel more than my previous channel, and a lot more stuff that's just cool beauty stuff that I'm gonna oh and a lot of reviews and that I'm gonna be bringing to you but today this video is gonna be centered on a haul and it's gonna be Sephora, Alta, a little bit of drugstore and some um, stuff that I ordered online and some Holt look and I have some links to the different places that I bought the stuff from down below if you want to check it out um, the first thing I'm gonna start with today is the foundation. Let's start with the foundation that I picked up. Um, I picked up this one right here. This is the Smashbox Try It Kit with the Halo and the BB Cream. And the reason why I picked up this foundation was this product right here, the Halo Foundation. This is what I wanted to try. Um, this is what the box looks like in the inside and it comes with a BB cream, um, a little kabuki brush and it came with a Smashbox primer and um, the reason why I wanted, I heard good things about the foundation and it's a medium coverage foundation and what's so great about this is to see you twist it and you just shave off just exactly what you need so if you just need a little bit or you need a lot you just shave off exactly what you need and that's what I love about this and this came it doesn't come in a bunch of colors it comes in just enough colors but this matched my color perfectly and this is in dark and it came with this BB cream which is also in oops dropped it which is also in dark and if you guys could see that, this is like my perfect color. And if you like blend it in, like it's beautiful. Like I would definitely repurchase this again. I'm going to definitely be repurchasing it again. You might see this in an empties video. That's another thing I'm going to be having. My empties and my favorites. Um, the next thing that came with it is the Smashbox primer. And a bonus that I got was with Alta when you order the kit. Or anything from Smashbox, you got another free one of these little babies. So I got two of them. And since you need such a little of this, um, this should last me a, quite a bit. And this is really, really good. Um, sorry, my nail polish is starting to chip. And I hate chip nails. Um, this is such a good primer. And it's a silicone-based primer. And... It's just a clear primer and it goes in and it's silky and it's smooth and it just fills in all your pores and your creases and it's beautiful just like you guys guys and dolls my lovelies and um, I went to Sephora and they said never wear the wrong foundation again Try color ID, match your perfect foundation, and that's what I did. I tried color ID, and they matched me with my perfect foundation. And what they do was after they take um three pictures of your on your face and your neck, 
and they match you with your perfect foundation and they take um show you swatches on your face after they pick you pick your foundation and they do a shade darker and a shade lighter to do they do diligence and um once they do that they show which shade would be best for you and lord behold the shade that they initially picked from color id was the correct shade for me and that was the perfect shade so it was right on the money i have to say that it was right on money so i got the sephora 10 hour wear perfecting foundation and the reason why i got this one was because this was the only one that was my match um in the store and they had i had what they do uh what they do is they give you a match of all the foundations that match your color that they sell period in sephora stores or online but this happened to be the only one that was in my sephora store so that's why i ended up with this one but i know all my matches that they sell period so i might try out some of the other ones online order some of the ones, the ones off mine and the other things that I got was these two NYX um, cosmetics concealers one in glow and one in medium and I usually wear I already started using it I usually wear glow and this is glow and uh, this is medium and as you can see they're pretty darn similar and I use this to contour with and so I got these little puppies and the next thing that I got um that's for the face I got me another thing of Ben Nye banana powder and I got this from Amazon um I love this stuff I use it to set my um under eye concealer and up here on the T-zone and underneath my chin, underneath my nose. Um, I use it to set my concealer and stuff like that. And blah, blah, blah. And the next thing that I got, <laughs> I know I'm like horrible at this, but it's my first video. So what the heck? You know what I mean? <laughs> I hate that saying. Next thing I got was Scandinavia No More Shine. And this kept with oily skin gets rid of all the shine and stuff. And you put it on before you put on your foundation and stuff. After you put on your moisturizer and your primer, you just spritz this all over your face. And then you put on your foundation. It's not really a finishing spray to set your foundation with. But you can use it for that. But it's not really for that. And the good thing about Scandinavia is... They make all the products for Urban Decay. So the Urban Decay, I think it's the B6, um, the pre-spray for No Shine. I forgot what it's called. This is the exact same thing, same formulation made by the same people, the exact same thing, just different bottle. Um, the reason why I picked this up instead of that is because this cost $19.99 and that cost $39.99. So had to go with the better deal and I also picked this up from Amazon the next thing that I got um, was some nail polishes and the first two nail polishes I got were um, these two Sally Henson glitter polishes and almost unlike most glitter top coats these have a faint um, like color to them with it like like a faint um purple like this one has a faint purple color um along with the glitter and this one is called confetti cake and it has um different color purple glitters along with um blue glitters and they're different sizes different shapes of circles and this one is a beautiful copper glitter with gold smaller glow gold glitters and there are also different circle shapes and this one is called frazzle dazzle and they're very very pretty if you can see how that sparkles and these are the new sally henson um extreme wear glitter top coats they're beautiful um comment below if you want me to do a tutorial on or full review on these nail polishes 
I'll probably do it on my nail channel anyway, so if you want to go check that out, I'll have a link below to my nail channel. Um, the next thing that I got was um, with Sephora with my 100 points. I picked up this Deborah Lippmann, um glitter top coat, and this is so pretty. It has just has multicolored circle glitters, and they just gave you just a little tester bottle. And I think the bottle is just like so cute, and it's just like um, just multi glitters in it. And it's just basic. But it's pretty and shiny, you know. Just, just, you know, normal stuff. And the next two things I got, which is perfect for fall, is these two Maybelline Color Show um, Holographic Polishes. And this first one I actually have on my nails right now. And it's this bluish one. And it's called Blue Blaze. And it's just a bluish um holographic polish with a silver undertone and it's beautiful like i love it but i love anything blue baby blue is my favorite color but i love anything in a blue family see how beautiful that is and this next one is in the purplish family and with another silverish undertone and this one is called lavender luster that's like saying that lavender luster sounds sexy. Anyway, but this is how it looks. It's a purplish holographic polish. And I think this would be really pretty on your nails for fall. And the next things I got was these six polishes from the Sephora Ariel collection. I'm not going to name them all off, but let me know if you want a full review on them. I'm going to do a full review on my nail art channel, so I'm not going to name all these off, but um, I got this so to complete my um, Disney Princess um, nail polish collection, and I love them. It comes with six beautiful polishes, and the next thing I got was this every year OPI comes out with a breast cancer supporting um collection and this year they came out with a matte glitter polish and that's here and that's called more than glitter and then they come out with this beautiful pink polish this year and it's called pinking of you with um, pink stickers and rhinestones in the center and this is crazy because I don't own a matte glitter polish and my collection is a 350 strong collection of nail polish I say a 350 strong collection of nail polish and this is my first so I am so excited about this. And I also got this from Amazon for anyone that's looking for it. I support breast cancer because it runs in my family. I am a carrier of the breast cancer gene. So I suggest that everyone and I employ you all to go out and support the breast cancer um, research. Thank you. That is my public service announcement for today. Let's move on to more jolly things. I got me another one of these holy grail things. Another Naked Basics palette. I love it. And if you're a beauty lover, you done seen this a million times on a million different channels. And here's the inside. Here's my favorite right here. So I'm going to just swatch my favorite. And that's Venus. There's Venus right there. Swatch her. And that's that one right there. So if you've seen one Naked Basics palette, you've done seen them all. So I'm not going to go in depth on that. But um, thumbs up and let me know if you want me to do a look with this. And even if you don't, I'm going to do it anyway. So whatever. <sighs> the next palette I got was... From Holt Look, I got the Stila Written in Stars Eyeshadow Palette. And it's just a basic neutral palette that comes with um, 
browns and sorry my camera died but the Stila palette just have these beautiful pinks browns and um neutral colors and I think like this would be you know really pretty fall colors the uh, next thing that I got um, was this beautiful neutral brown palette if you don't know I like neutrals bring out my beautiful brown eyes um, from elf eyes lips face and one of the colors that I really really like in here is this beautiful burgundy color and these colors are really pigmented and beautiful and I can't seem to swatch them because I have dirty stuff all over my fingers so we're gonna leave that alone but I love this palette um, I'm wearing it on my eyes today if you guys can see that if you can't I'm sorry <laughs> um, I'm gonna get better better cameras better videos better as we go along the next thing that I got um, was this Stila um, all bright lip glazes and it comes with um, let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight um, lip glazes. And if you want me to, I'm going to do a full review on this and the other lip products that I have today. I have a lot. So they'll be coming up. Um, the next thing that I got was this Mulani um, blush. And Dolce Pink is just a really um, beautiful um, bright pink blush with shimmers on it. And if you can see that, it's really uh, pigmented and beautiful. I really like it. And that's Mulani Dolce Pink Blush. And the next thing that I got, I almost forgot this. The Revlon um, Chalkboard Nail Art. And this is just a matte nail polish to looks like chalkboard. And this part is black and this part is homecoming. And this is just a lavender, um, really pale, pale, extremely pale purple. And they you paint it black and then you paint on this like it's a chalkboard. And it's like a... I don't want to call it a dupe for the cards, chalkboard nails, but it's a it's a substitute or another version. <laughs> um, the next um, thing that I got was this, and I was really excited to show you guys this. It's a Stila. Um, this is a blush, and it comes with all these different colors and stuff. And it kind of looks like, I don't know, like a planet or something. And you could either try to use just one section of it. Or you could try to use all of them together. And this is how it looks if they all come together. I mean, this isn't a blush. This is an eyeshadow. I'm sorry. And that's how they look if they all are together. And I just think that they're just so beautiful and this is so pigmented and I just think like this concept is so cool and this is called um groupie and this is their um countless color pigment um eyeshadow very cool the next things that I got was this um mm, no this eyeliner by Physicians Formula and it's just an automatic eyeliner pencil and it's in dark brown I didn't take it out the package because I'm trying to go through these pretty quickly so this won't be a two hour video the next two things I got were oh, the next thing that I got was an eyeliner pencil 
and I got, I mean, an eyebrow pencil, and I got it in black. I got another one in brown, too, and that's right here. And it's just a basic, um, just a basic, um, eyebrow pencil. Then it has a little brush on it. You know, just simple, simple. The next things that I got were, um, this felt tip positions formula, um, ultra black liquid liner and then I got this Mulani iTech bold um, liquid liner to do my wing tips with and I got this NYX gel liner in um, jet black and I know it seems like I'm going through it fast um, but I am. <laughs> then I got this Jungle Eye Pencil Crayon in Cashmere. And it's just a basic crayon. See? It's very pigmented, though. It's right here. And the next thing that I got, um, was a bunch of lipsticks. I'm talking a huge, colossal and this is what I call my way station box where before if I haven't hauled it yet I stick it in that box and the first thing I got was from the Archie collection I got this um, um bleh, this lip gloss from the Betty collection and it's in the color stay sweet And that stay sweet. The next one I got was another lip gloss. And I know this looks like stay sweet, but it's not. And this one, this one is stay sweet. <laughs> and this one is. Summer Sweetheart. And see the difference between Stay Sweet and Summer Sweetheart. Stay Sweet is more of a orangey pink and that's more of a pink pink. If that makes any type of sense to you guys. <laughs> and... The next thing I got was a bunch of MAC, another, well not a bunch of MAC lipsticks, but another MAC lipstick. And it's from the Betty Collection, and it's in the color Girl Next Door, and it's just a basic bumblegum pink um, lipstick. And it's very pigmented pink lipstick. And that's it right here. I love it. And the next thing that I got was this my niece got for me. And it's the LA Colors Lip Gloss Lipstick Duo. And it's in natural. And it smells like cinnamon. And I like the color. And for the price and the brand, it's very pigmented. I really like this color. And it's perfect for neutral. And I like it. The next thing I got was a bunch of matte lipsticks from NYX. I probably got like the whole collection, to be honest with you. And this first one that I got was an Indie Flick. And it's just this nice orange, orangish, orangey red. And that's this color. I'm not going to swatch all of these because this would just be an hour long. But then I got this color. 
and this is in the color Bloody Mary. Then I got this color, and this is in the color uh, Mason. Then I got this color, and this is in the color Euro Trash. Then I got this color, and it's just a beautiful pinky color, and this is in the color Hippie Chic. And then I got this beautiful neutral color, and it's in the color Nude. And then I got this color, which I love, and it's a beautiful red. It is in a pure red. And then I got this color, which is another beautiful version of red. And I got this one in perfect red, which I had this one on my Instagram um, picture. And I got one more, this beautiful pink color. And these are all matte lipsticks. And this one is in Summer Breeze. And then I got some more lipsticks. <laughs> Go figure. And this one is um, Vivid from the Vivid's collection, the Color Sensational Maybelline. And this is a shocking coral. And it's what I have on my lips right now. If you can see that. And I think it's very pretty. And it's called Shocking Coral. And the next thing I got was from the Color Whisper collection. And that is the Maybelline collection. And I got this beautiful nude brown color. And this is the Mocha Muse. The next thing was from the same collection. And this one is a nice, like, corally pink. And this one is from, this is called Coral Ambition. The next one I got was from the, what is this? <laughs> then Revlon, well, it's a big old Revlon thing on it. And this one is called creme brulee if I can get it out and it's just this beautiful brown color and I think this is perfect for Paul for Paul <laughs> and it's just a beautiful brown mauve brown color and this is another color whisper and this is a beautiful brown color almost like the last one yes I just like to buy and this one is a um, L'Oreal and this one's in spicy mauve which is perfect for fall and look at how beautiful that is I'm going to actually swatch this one look at how pretty that is it's a beautiful mauve color. Perfect for the fall time. And then I got this wet and wild like pinky color. Shimmery pinky color. And this is in the color light berry frost. Like it's a frosted color. And it's pigmented. What I like about all of these, they're very moisturizing, but what I would say about the matte lipsticks is to make sure that you either have a lip primer on or a little bit of Vaseline before you use them because they can dry out your lipsticks. And my little holy grail, and thanks to my niece that winded it up in the tube, it kind of got smushed, but I got this Urban Decay Native lipstick. And... That's this. And these are so pigmented. 
and they're so moisturizing and they're so perfect I would definitely be getting more of these and that's the native in fact I just ordered some so you'll be seeing those in a future haul and the last but not least was my last Mac my um, this is called Hot Gossip. Smells like chocolate. And my nail mail buddy actually purchased this for me. And I went and bought another one because I used it all and I loved it so much. And that is that. That completes my haul this month. Well, no, this week, because I got more stuff coming. So, <laughs> soon as the next one come, I'll hook you guys up with another haul. So, I have links to all the places that I got the stuff from, so you guys could check it out. Like, I have a link to Hope Look, a link to Amazon, a link to Sephora, a link to Alta, so you guys will know where to go check the stuff out from. I hope you guys enjoy the haul. I hope you guys enjoy my channel. Thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe. Show me love. Um, hope you come back and check in. Um, comment on things that you want to see on my channel. Um, what you like. What you didn't like. What you think I should change. Um, and let me know. Just, you know, give me some feedback. Um, so, goodbye guys.